Hi guys, I'm Nelly Kamau and welcome to my channel. Um, we all have dreams and aspirations, or rather you had dreams and aspirations before you gave up. And no matter how unfavorable your situation is, or no matter how inexistent the light at the end of the tunnel for you is, you can still work hard and achieve your dreams and live the life you've always wanted to live and do the things you've always wanted to do. Um, so today I'm going to switch things up a little bit. I'm going to be doing a feature story on a very wonderful young lady, young girl. Um, she's very academically talented, but uh, in the same case, she's also under very unprivileged situations and circumstances, but she tries to work hard so that she may also achieve her dreams. Let's go meet her. Na <laughs> Thank you. 
I also talked to one of Roboro's teachers who has been with her throughout almost all of her academic journey and this is what she had to say. My name is Rita Marate. Mm -hmm. I'm a teacher at Kisua Primary School. Mm -hmm. I'm in charge of the guidance and counseling and also the people's welfare. I've known uh, Judy uh, since she was in Nassau School. And uh, she has been faced with so many challenges. Uh, coming from a very poor background. And, uh, the father being responsible and drunkard, and uh, the mother dying last year in November. We had taken her to a rescue where she can uh, at least relax and be able to, to realize herself at her place of the metal Unfortunately, when she was there that time, the, the mother died, and she, was, she, she came back this year. She does well in class, but with so many responsibilities. Right now she's living with her grandmother. And being a girl, she has many challenges. I'm worried she may not even finish class eight because of the exposure as we've seen from her home. There is a lot of lacking and uh, mostly the motivation of our girl is from event, not unlike the boy which is from within. They lack food basic needs, teachers at times have to contribute to see that she has lived well and she, she's doing well. So the, um, because of those challenges, that's where now I came in with an organization called Better Future International, where we provide food, which is even working at home. So we provide all trans in school. And we also source for sponsorship, but at times it's really, really limited. We don't know who will be taken because most of our children are gone. We, like last year, we done a profile for the two children, only three were taken, only three got sponsors. So if you really can get somebody to sponsor her, with all those challenges she does well, she can really actualize herself and her things. So anywhere we shall can help the world, it can be really, really a good thing to ourselves and also to the community and to the seniors. Thank you. So as you've seen from Roboro's story, you should never give up on your dreams. You should just work hard at whatever level you are in and maybe someday something good is going to happen to your life and it's going to pay off in the end. Also, if you think you can be able to help Roboro and her family in any sort of way, make sure you contact me, just email me and we'll see what you can do. Also, if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Um,